Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another awesome collection. Uh, classic toys, in this case, classic TV. And we're going to look at Johnny Quest comics from the 1980s, based on the 1960s TV show. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, reply, and share. We've got um, the three Johnny Quest classics, and then we have a lot of the regular issue. And these are neat because they're going to have uh, artwork on the front and back. Sometimes it's a continuation. Other times it's a different picture. We've got Doug Weldy, who worked on the original uh, Quest. There's an Adam Kubert cover. We're going to look at a Dave Stevens cover. Very cool. So let's get started here. These are based on specific episodes from the original. With Doug Wiley, but as you can see, that's not one of my favorite covers, the way it is there. Uh, this one's a little better, number two. Another continuation cover. And here, this one I think is something, that the, the Timberwolf one. The Loop Guru. That's probably my favorite cover out of all of these. And then it continues on the back here. This was Comic Co. Company. These were a lot more expensive than the comics at that time. Marvel Comics were probably around 75 cents then. Let's see. Somehow I misplaced the first issue of this. I don't know if I was going to send that in to CGC, so it's in another box somewhere. Don't like this cover that much. You can see who it's by, Wendy Penny. There's a different back cover there. This one, I think, is one of my favorites. Guns for the Laughing Man. Almost sounds like a Doc Savage one. Dave C. Stevens art, 1985. Sometimes I think you see this one slabbed, but with the way the prices have all gone down on everything, only a 9.8 would be worth sending in. There's no guarantee unless you send it in for the guarantee, and then that winds up to be a big waste of money. A lot of them. You can see 1986. So very cool there. And I think in this series, Johnny was supposed to be like one or two years older than the, the TV, uh, original TV series. Very cool with the Triceratops. Another Dave Stevens cover. This one's from 86. So obviously he liked uh, Johnny Quest, Jade Incorporated. Uh, it's Jezebel Jade. She was only in two of the original series, but in the memorable ones. A love interest of race. There's Dr. Zinn. Dr. Zinn. Ah, Dr. Quest. I read the, some of these. I don't know if I kept reading them as long as I was buying them, because on some things I'd keep collecting something, but stop reading them. And I kept up with this one a long time. Just like I did another uh, video on my collection of the, the Lost in Space comics from you know, the very late 80s, or early 90s, whatever it was. This one's a good cover, too. Another Doug Wilde. There's a wrapper around. This one... I don't know why it got in there, because for the most part back then I didn't have backing boards. You can see these were a dollar fifty, but uh, these were two. I think these were slightly uh, longer stories. Let's see how did I do these here? Nine. I think that's Jezebel Jade again. this cover much. And 
this is, <coughs> excuse me, Bill Sinkowitz. You can tell that. It was like the New Mutant covers of the time period. Sort of a painted look and his sketch typey, sketchy art that he did. You can't see the back cover on that one. Another good one here. Doug Lilly. So we've got some uh, natives, and I don't know if they're supposed to be just that or prehistoric also, maybe. Dr. Quest, look at him, he's clinging to a rock. And Race is doing all the work. <laughs> Nominated for two Curviews Awards, Best New Series, Best Continuing Series. Kind of a cool cover. We've got a ghost on there. I wish they would have put the a month and the year on there, but they didn't. But you can see how the when they were from when people were signing the artwork and dating it. So eighty six, eighty seven or so. Is this the first one with the Word balloon. And the last one I got is number, uh, thing. I don't know if I stopped or if they stopped and it was canceled. I'd have to look that up, see how long Comico went with this. Let's get buying them. Definitely, like I said, I don't think I was reading these last issues. And look at this, this is the first one that's got a some kind of ad on it, whether that's a real product or some kind of uh, other thing, I don't know. But it's not directly looking like Donny Quest. So there we go. I think this is a favorite cartoon of a lot of people. I'll leave a link to the end here of one of the, I think I did the video for the, the card game. I might leave that or uh, I don't know if I did with the paint color book and stuff. A good cover again. Real good cover. Right. And then the classics. Until next time, more awesome collection, pop culture collection. Thanks for watching, everyone.